Thank you, uh, everyone, for your attendance. I declare the May meeting of the Wanjai Council open. I call for apologies and a uh, of absence by councillors. Do you have any apologies? No, no apologies received. Well, we haven't received an apology council meeting, so um, yeah, not sure exactly what's what's in there. Yes. No, sorry. He was coming as all yesterday. I haven't heard of the council meeting, so we, uh, we, we haven't actually received an apology, so we can't actually note that. Um, we need to do that. No? No. 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 Yeah. So it's no problem. Moving on to the confirmation minutes. The first of those is three days separately. The first of those is the uh, extraordinary meeting held on Tuesday the 8th of December 2020 regarding the recruitment of the general manager. Is someone happy to move those minutes of the extraordinary general of extraordinary meeting? Thank you, Councillor Serby. Seconded, Councillor Cruz. Councillor Serby. Have you moved those? Any further comments, questions before we move that? Put that, all those in favour. Against, carried. Moving on to the ordinary meeting um, held on uh, Thursday, 22nd of April, our normal council meeting. So I'm happy to move those minutes. Thank you, Councillor Cruz. Second, Councillor Higgins. Councillor Cruz. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Any further comments, questions before we put that? All correct. Thank you. We'll put that all those in favour. Against. Carried. Disclosure of interest. Councillors, are there any matters that in the business paper that you wish to disclose an interest in? Councillor in, in the manager in the engineering services, item five. Thank you. Thank you. I'll wait. 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 Moving on to item six is the report to the committees. And the first of those being the meeting of the sporting facilities. Committee held Wednesday the 5th of May. Someone happy to move the recommendation for the coming out of that committee? Councillor Taylor, second. Councillor Irving, Councillor Taylor. Just that uh, the down pipes so are still having trouble with the in particular heavy rain. Um, leaking coming underneath the eaves across the top of the windows, about the middle section of the of the, um, of the complex, uh, needs to be fixed correctly. And that's the budget of 25 grand that we're looking at to get it done correctly. Is there any other questions? <coughs> what we didn't know was there is some money in the repairs and maintenance budget still that. <laughs> the man, the centre manager um, has undertaken to just see what can be done to perhaps get that project started within the budget for this year. So, uh, but all eight cost us around twenty five grand. I'm quite probably to rectify that that problem. I think the simple way is the flashing. It's just a, it's just got to come out and be done correctly. But we done properly splats, but that, that thing I'm looking, I think it should be done properly instead of ever. Um, the other one that matter that springs to my attention is that the, a letter be sent to all the user groups, all the user groups. As they potentially apply for grants, we need as a council to understand what they're applying for so that it actually fits in with master plans for various um, precincts. So what we don't want to is a, a group being successful with the grant and then finding that it's really something that really doesn't fit with the overall plan. So we're asking them to alert council um, and be partner with council before they submit grant applications so that it all actually fits together and we're not um, at cross purposes in trying to achieve what we're all white council to as best for the facilities we can possibly have. You can see that on page three, Mr. Mayor, of that, of that report where one of the items is, is 
just on the action checklist to write to everyone, because the other part is, is you make sure you not make sure you're actually putting to, to the right standard in your own budget. Yes. No, no good putting in a twenty thousand dollar grant, putting no money into it, and the job is really a forty five thousand dollar job. Yeah, and just to my um, um, and then, um, general manager for, I guess, um, looking again at that master plan for Colorado Law, including swimming pool, and yeah, engaging with community, uh, the user groups, so thank you, general manager. Further, Dad, I think it's a good opportunity with the council stand at the show to really the current overall plan will be there. It's constantly under minor revision in terms of placement of the seniors, etc. I think it's good to get some feedback on on that to the group and to the public about um, what we're aiming to achieve there over time. Um, it's not all budgeted for, we haven't got the money to do it all, but the plan is as per the plan that's, that's um, presented, pretty much it's, it's going to take a little bit of tweaking as we said, moving things around a little bit, but you know, the basics of it are, are pretty right. And the fact that a number of projects formed into place, skate park, swimming pool upgrade, water park in their respective areas, that's I think that should be quite gratifying that it actually is moving ahead and will continue to move ahead over time. Any further on these sporting facilities? Meeting of recommendation. We have to put that all those in favour against Gary. Moving on to the meeting of the local emergency management committee. Um, <coughs> that was the day of May. Someone happy to review those minutes. I don't know any recommendations. No, I'm not look. Just the minutes. Just the minutes. Someone happy to move that those minutes be adopted. Thank you, Councillor Williamson. Second, Councillor Irving. Councillor Williamson. No, just moving minutes and figures for me. Anything further on the local emergency city management committee minutes? I've come to the meeting, yes. Um, Mr. Mayor, just uh, commenting on the incidents, the significant incidents, oh, just total incidents. Um, and yeah, I think it just highlights our need for um, councillor Sergey um, to put forward um, for improved mobile phone service um, in our child because often these incidents can be um, prevented if we have reliable mobile service. Thank you, yes. Anything further on the minutes of the uh, local emergency management committee? In the case of pushback, all those in favour against carry it. <coughs> Moving on to the meeting of the Showgun Race Course Committee held on Wednesday, the 4th of May. The recommendation there is that the minutes of the meeting be uh, accepted, received and noted. Councillor Beach, have you moved that? Second, Councillor Beach. Councillor Beach. Uh, thanks, Mr. Mayor. Uh, just a, a couple of things from that meeting. It was a, a follow up meeting from our March meeting to uh, discuss our master plan down there. What we decided to do is um, let the show, show committee, uh, show group um, formulate their own plan for this for the show. So uh, then the plan is after, after the show that we will get together and, and, and have a look at um, how it all worked. And, for the plan going forward. Um, the other issue is the, uh, the equestrian uh, surface. We uh, a couple of issues. The, the main event, um, basically at the end of the day, there's a bit of an unevenness for the sand over the top. So, so um, the general manager has, um, <coughs> met, met with the equestrian group, and the general manager um, said that he would uh, give a thorough investigation into uh, everything there, whether it was caused by the rain or or the actual process of putting the sand down. So, um, so Jeff managed his, his results back hopefully early, early, um, early June. We'll meet again with the, the equestrian group and hopefully go forward from there, from there so we can hand it over into a, into a 
good start. Uh, I think that's bad. Yeah. Thank you, Councillor. Yes, yeah, so there is a degree of uncertainty about what's happening with the equestrian um, arena surface. We just need to have the investigation done, the range is undertaken to do that. Once we know what's actually occurring or how it, how it is actually situated, then we can get forward. I think it's unfortunate sometimes people are jumping the gun a little bit. Let's do the investigation, then we'll know what we're actually doing. You know, it's, not, it's not quite the end of the world, it's just a, it's a matter of um, working through the process and getting it right, right. You know, I don't think this a project ever that's gone 100% smoothly that everything falls into place it's exactly the way you want it to. So um, we'll be working to just get it all sorted out. Any further on the minutes of the um, Jogan uh, Race Course Committee? Councillor Evans. Yeah, thank yeah. you. I have a, a question. Um, talks about the drainage restricting in item three of the minutes, a discussion is held on the drainage restricting the use. Um, has has the drainage been finished oh, no. or is it still in progress? That, no, that's been, no, that, was, uh, that was an issue uh, with some of the user groups wondering could they use the polar cross fields. Um, the polar cross fields have been specifically designed, they're an international standard. Each field, its roof cap, has its own drainage which goes into a central drain. So to compromise those, to do any girls to flat them out would completely compromise that standard. It's a plastic. Right? And so the fields, the fields are purpose for the polar cross and that's so that yeah. conversation's been had yeah. and been accepted by everyone and standard. The whole design actually just makes them serious polar cross fields that, that limits the use use for the area of by one else because of that proper drainage system. And, and it was just yeah. and and really for those groups that that um, did use it, it's not, it's not really an issue for them at all in the discussion for them, so, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yes. Yeah, um, with relation to the project, um, because it's that international standard, um, have we been able to have that professional input to the project? Um, or is that something you're looking into, General Manager? <laughs> Um, I think you know, that professional advice around the equipment. Um, I think it's very important. You're talking about that, or you're talking about the whole lot of us. Other costs. If the money for, from the grant, if there's any money from the grant allocated to project management specifically, so that we can get expert advice on it, or uh, is that what you're doing? I believe now? over the last 18 months, that was all of time yes. on individual parts of the project. Okay. By, the, by the project team at the time. It wasn't, that, that was within their, within their allocated amount. So they did, they came within, within the project quite comfortably. So it wasn't a massive, it wasn't a massive work to, to get it to that standard because it was also flat down there. It was just a matter of what prints, well, it was all laser initially. Mm -hmm. then, then it was top of sand and it's, all the design was. It was all pretty straightforward. There wasn't much to do looking at the services. Oh, actually, I was off track. Um, I was more the question. Uh, oh, um, yeah. And and some further advice might be obtained if, if needed. Yeah. yeah, it looks like it's needed. I think um, that you're under it. Yes. Yes. Thank yes. you. That's right. I think it's all in place. We just have to be patient, yeah. and we'll get to the get to the other other side of where, where we want to be. Um, yeah, I think the, the design the designs and they're all they're all here, and they're all done correctly. It's just the finishing, it's just the finishing product. Whether it was whether it was rushed or whether it was that rain event that caused the sand or whatever, and you know, that's what Gary's looking into. But I think everything progressed how it should have. It's just the finishing product, unfortunately. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> Are there any further comments, questions regarding the um, Shogun Race Course meeting meeting? If there's nothing further, we'll put that. All those in favour? Against? Carried. Moving on to the meeting of the Water and Sewage Committee held on Thursday, 13th of May. 
someone happy to um, move that recommendation? There's a number of recommendations there. Yeah, Councillor Williamson's happy to move it. Second, Councillor Higgins. Councillor Williamson. Well, it's a pretty good meeting. Um, I'll just go through some items on it. I'd like to do the recommendation, the funding for best practices for the um, upgrade of water at these water plants. We can either have a basic one or a middle one and a, the top of the line one. We decide to go top of the line, and the reason why is because if you take the basic one, eventually you have to upgrade it all the time. So if we're going to go for funding, let's go for the best one we can get. Put it in, get it done, we don't have to go back to it. Otherwise, if we go for the basic one over the next few years, we'll have to keep upgrading. <coughs> It's, so we're going to go for best practices on that one, and that's the reason why. Now item three, that's for never and Colo item two. The next one's for Warren. We've got some money we might be able to use from the groundwater, ground, groundwater grant we had when we put all the, all the uh, water tanks up there and rent the uh, pipe from one ball to the other ball. There's some money left over from that. Uh, we might be able to use that to do the best practices for Warren out of that grant. If we do that, we won't have to put in for another for the Warren area. So we're waiting to see how that goes. If we can do that, it should be good. Um, also, our river pumps. Uh, we might, we've got a problem over there at um, Oxley. We've taken it up one out again. Uh, we don't know why. We don't know why it's fun. Um, so the pumps being taken out, it's been sent away to be checked. Um, we'll get a report back on that and also get a report back on why. What are we going to do in the future? because we don't want this happening. Also, the giraffe pumps, we're going to be placing some of them. So what we're trying to do there is have the same pumps. So if we've got a, we, have, we have the same pumps, so if one breaks down, we can swap them over. We'll have one installed, put straight in, and then send that one to, our one to be set away to be repaired, so we can, because <clears throat> every time you get an excavator in or get a crane in to pull the pump out, it'll cost money. So if you can pull one out, have another one ready, put it back in, end the story, you're going to save money that way. So we're looking into that as well. Uniformity too. Uniformity. Yes, uniformity in all the pumps. I've got that up. I've got that in a sec actually. About the pumps, I'll bring that up now. What we're trying to look around town is to have the get pumps back in our store up at the Warren Depot. At the moment, we used to have them years ago. We're not too sure if they've been they went sent away and they were bugging and they couldn't be repaired, but we've got no spare pumps up there. So we're looking at now trying to work out what pumps we've got to start in Warren. One's for our sewage plants um, and also our pump stations. And apparently we can get away with two pumps, I think, in our pump stations by remembering. Oh, that's right, Ron will know better than me. Get away with two pumps, that means if, we've got, if, if a pump station fails, we can go to the store, get a pump, put a pump in, end of story, send that one away and get fixed. So we're trying to go to that stage in the sewage work, especially in the new sewage station opens up and the new out there at the um, Behind the other one. Now the water, we've um, accepted a grant, a, um, we accepted the tender there, it's going to go again. So the internal of, all, of the water will be done, of the tower, so the external will be all done as well. And in there as well, there's going to be temporary pumps set up and temporary tanks, so the never tide won't run out of water. So that's going to be done as well. Um, look, this, that's probably about as far as the meeting went, but unless the Council of Higgins would like to make a point to that. Thank you, Councillor Higgins. Councillor Higgins, do you have anything to add? Yeah, thank you. Have you taken any questions? Yeah. Um, just one question that I, I see differing. Uh, Piece of information being brought to your attention regarding uh, never tire in this report we're suggesting that we retain or even new uh, re replacement of stands and tanks to ensure some sort of pressure at all times in terms of never tire water if the pumps fail and it's electricity failure then if, this, if the stand and the tanks are still there that overhead tank there is some pressure in the collar sorry but then, but then later in this, oh, uh, in another report, we thought that we actually um, removed those. I thought it's in Manning's or something. No, no, actually, that you didn't know. It's what it actually is. Part of the whole program now, actually. Because the tank stands holding the tanks up on. Yeah. 
But the intention is that the coal eye will always Something. have a gravity fed water in the case of the yes. an emergency. That's correct. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. We, we just need to. Because if my dad didn't want to let fire, they yes. just they can get a week worth of the water. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's, yeah. that's all I want to know because there's different information oh, being presented. That's, that's what we wanted to be clear about. We need more reports for the moment. <laughs> Very good. Three, Mr. Mayor, that was a we have to talk about that in our meeting as well about coal lake, um, about having that tank yep. and having a background for that reason because we don't want never tired to run out of water at all. Never tired of going coal lake, maybe. Never tired of coal lake, sorry. Yeah, you never tired of going to have a generator yep. which yep. is going to be electric and um, it's, yeah, so we're fine. Give it a full time. Yeah, that's very good. That's very thank good. you, thank you, Councillor, for clarifying that. Any further on the uh, minutes of the order and um, sewage committee and the recommendations part thereof? The Bendy Council will go all those in favour against Gary. Moving on to the next report of the committees or on the board of committees that are the, the next meeting held on Tuesday, the 18th of May. Someone happy to move those minutes? Council Surrey. Thank you, Councillor Reddy. Councillor Surdy. I think I've had a couple of questions. 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 Ask you a couple of questions that I had in um, just in general business because they're more to the report on there. So, yeah, that's it. Thank you. Hey, Councillor, any questions, comments regarding the minutes of the next meeting? Councillor Evan? Um, yes, sir. Uh, comment is um, just, I can notice, I'm noticing that the general manager is. Moving towards a project team approach um, to our projects. Um, so, just think that's a good um, move forward for council um, in that everyone shares the responsibility and all their skills um, are utilised to, to contribute to the project rather than it all going on one person. So, yeah, I just noted that it's on page um, two of the Maddox units under item 4.1 executive office matters. Um, yeah, it's kind of got a list there um, with doing the plan um, for Carter Oval. So this is the GM, um, the manager of engineering services, the town services, mental health and the infrastructure project manager, which is great to see. And the um, question is um, that I picked up from the community and I thought since the skate park subcommittee, Warren Skate Park Carter Oval subcommittee was mentioned, I thought I could clarify and I have spoken to the general manager about this, but um, did, did that committee run a competition um, for a mural at the skate park? And um, uh, the reason I ask is because um, the young fellow that um, passed away recently, I was told, won the competition and I, I wasn't aware of the competition and I thought good to have that clarified if we need to do something about that. Um, maybe Councillor, if I could go through Mr. Mayor and ask Councillor Brewer. Yes, sir, but I my understanding there was no, no competition ever run under council's auspices at all, but I'll defer again. No, there, there wasn't, Mr Mayor. There was a uh, discussion about making some uh, brick walls available for the purposes of murals public wall, in that in that precinct, but that's as far as I've ever got. Uh, so there's certainly no competition. So I'm not sure that might be a little bit misleading. Um, just Mr Mayor, I, I received that from two different sources, so I might have to um, follow that up. I've well, seen that comment as well, Councillor Lee, but I, my guess is that it may have been something to do when, when other sites were being proposed. So well before this 
the skate park was actually part of the car driver increasing. So it might have occurred. The request for skate park had been 10 years. So it could have been years and years before. And I, 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 I'm, that's the only thing I can offer in terms of where that's come from. But it certainly wasn't part of any planning or as my, as my understanding as council as I'm standing as chairman of the committee of the, of the car arrival state part recently. Okay, thank you for that. <coughs> Any further questions, comments regarding the minutes of the annex meeting? Well, a comment, please, Mr. Mayor. Um, regarding um, the um, item 4.1.4, uh, there's, there's some discussion in there about uh, pre selection um, candidate information sessions. Um, maybe the general manager can elaborate on that a little bit. What, what, this was uh, a couple of weeks ago. Has that progressed any well, more? Anyway? It's, it's only progressing to see whether actually what can be put out or, or who is going to put out their information. Um, because it might be too much for us to do uh, for, for prospective candidates. Meaning, meaning obviously local government, New South Wales uh, local, local Government Association, um, and, and, and anybody, anybody who, we have to work out whether we can put something on our website where people go to the link or the webinars or anything like that, and there's a chance the answer's going to be no. Is, is it worth then, so we're talking about um, anyone who wants to throw their hat in the ring to become yeah. a councillor. Yeah. They also have to come and say good day to someone in place so we know to pass it on. Or we sort of have, might have something on our website to help them, to direct them somewhere but we're not 100% certain that they're going to provide anything. The, the other thing is, is that uh, if they are interested candidates, they probably should be talking to rather than people at the electoral funding authority who go and do some training that way as well. And most probably that's going to be in Canamble. Where the right. yeah. So is it is it the done thing to have information sessions and those sorts of things? I mean um, what we want to do is attract the most attractive candidates that we can of course. And uh, I just remember it was quite a convoluted process, that's for sure, um, to become <coughs> a candidate um, yeah. on a on a local election. Yeah. The Electoral Funding Authority and and our uh, returning officer organise some things, and that's why uh, irrelevant stuff that relates to Electoral Funding Authority and, and election is organised by by the uh, returning officer. What I'm hoping, and there's still not a, a, a high chance that it happens, we just have something small on a website where people can click in and go to certain links to help them with other matters. What what uh, what's um, uh, meaning? What their role is? Um, some minor stuff that someone else can, has put up, and, and we can link in. We will have our training when we know the, the new twelve new councillors. Yeah, I'm just thinking of Darren's position. There were seven of us, I think, last time um, filing in and out of your office. Uh, doing all sorts of things. I just wonder if it's not more efficient to to identify those individuals and just possibly get them together. And I, I just it seemed very inefficient to clunky last time, and there were so many of us, and that was I guess caught everyone out of how many new candidates there were. It just might be more efficient and better use of Darren's time if you got those together and said, okay, this is what you need to do. You need to have this and this. You need to get councillors to sign off on your nominations and all all of that sort of stuff. That's a little bit mysterious, um, and we say those number. Of, if I mean, let's assume there are new candidates, and I hope that there are. Uh, it just might be a better use of your time. Absolutely, Derek. And on the same matter, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Through this, um, I believe it was to my personal email address, but I've recently received information about like some live webinars on that matter, um, which basically tells exactly what we're talking about doing. Um, and I believe that those were recorded and are available on 
a website. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's from the Oxford of Government or the Australian Mental Commission, but one of the two. If you mind, if you do email. Yeah, but I think that is, we've got to say, I convoluted. I followed those links, and then you, you, you go into a great big bucket of so web pages and things like that. It's not easy. It's not straightforward for that one. Through you still miscompared, that's um, so on my understanding is these live webinars were available for people ask questions, so it might be a bit clearer than, than just the links of the information that we had last time. I think you suggest yes, most of those have already passed. Well, some of them have already passed. They were in um, April, I think. Yes, that's right. Maybe April. Um, but yeah, can we take this offline maybe and have a discussion afterwards about the best way forward? That's what's right. right. there. And, and Darren tells me there's now more information that come through. It's actually a webinar for me from the 10th of June that helps me work out what we can do. Let's do it, Councillor, it may be appropriate that Council just runs a, a one off information session at some date in the future, but maybe we have a discussion regarding that morning to him and, and sort that out and then come back to some proposal. Um, is that what you're looking I think so. Yeah. I just want to attract the best candidates and not have any barriers in the way to having a, another wonderful group of councillors. Further so comments, questions regarding the Mannix um, committee meeting units? That being the case, we'll put that all out in favour. Again, Harry, moving on to the report of delegates. There are none of those. And policy, there are none. Nil. And now we move on to reports of the general manager. The first of those being the outstanding reports checklist. Someone happy to move that? Sorry. Councillor Serby, Councillor Councillor Serby. I've just got a copy in this session if I can. I'm mean, just curious if you have any information on updates. First one being the mobile um, coverage thing. Have you had any response back from what you've been doing with this topic? No, I haven't had uh, a call. I've been waiting for a call back from the Telstra fellow that I spoke with. He hasn't done that. You reminded me and I reminded him yesterday. As well, that I need to follow up with him. He hasn't got back to me, so I'll, I'll chase it again. Councillor Serby, yes, I'll get on that. Um, the other one was um, the same as the Uganda uh, Never Tire for the Fed Solution Group. Do you have any feedback from them? I mean, I was having a letter saying that they they wishing to proceed, um, but they haven't been waiting on them to have a time to come out so we can actually pay out the area that they, they require. So I'll have to get back on the end. Um, Mayor, I think <coughs> very, 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 very busy with all those arrangements for lots and lots of sites because they were one of the organisations that had a lot of um, black spot program, mm -hmm. five eight money. Mm -hmm. So that's why they're probably we're just on the list. So I'm just making it clear that it's not the list that we're going to uh, the other one was um, in relation to the council houses. Um, I, I read somewhere about um, um, the go to tribunal or something because we hadn't paid for one of them. Can we clarify? Senior oh. Man Management Team, Mr. Mayor, is, is considering um, some action that may be reportable to the next meeting. We're still in the middle, we haven't, still just waiting to find out what's going to happen. We're still trying to sort out <coughs> the problems <coughs> with those two houses. So let's, as the general manager said, we can just we'll work through the process to say, excuse me, <coughs> and then we'll get, a, we'll get a report back as as and when and if things change um, from where we sit. That's me. Thank you. Thank you. I just have one question on you and my waste depot. Uh, signage is it? Is it? I'm noticing on the front fence, as in the obviously highway front fence, it says uh, open public holidays, just an office sort of scratched on. I think some better wording, and I haven't taken notice of the new, it's a new sign. Yes, I think we just need to paint out. That not open public holidays because it, I think it is confusing because there are some days that we adopted the um, the opening dates um, 
we just need to be very clear, just have it in one place on the signage, and that's that's it. Thank you. Sorry, Councillor Tyler. Uh, sorry, Mr. Mayor, just a question on the Warren Levy Bank rehabilitation. I know, Steve, that you gave a briefing note to the Honourable Mayor Colton and had an inspection with uh, Roy Butler. What was the feelings there for the local work with, with, uh, with Colton? Oh, Colton yeah. most, most recently on NZX over with um, right. Mark Colton, people, our federal member. Yep. <clears throat> so he's very much on board. You can see our problem. We applied for some grant funding under. I'll get the term of the name wrong, but some flood mitigation funding um, to receive some money to rectify the, the problem um, with the levy bank. Um, we're still waiting for advice on whether or not we've been successful with that, but we are continuing to pursue that. Um, we need to follow that up again. He's, he's, and he's, he's advised, he, he advised us that he's provided a positive letter of support to the minister who's looking at federal minister who's looking after that uh, that grant program. Just reading in the engineering report too, I assume that given that we get a high river that the engineering department's ready to go. Mm. For example, yeah. we need to work <coughs> we're just hoping that we just have to get something going through. Yeah, so emergency emergency works program ready to organise. Again, to reiterate, I reckon that's a priority. We can keep our foot down on that. It needs to be done. Absolutely. Now, look, I think Councillor Taylor take that on board and we will make it the plan for the Mr. Colton again and just see where it's progressing and see, well, see when a date is um, anticipated for the, yeah, knowing the outcome of our application. See you. Yeah, he has a control over it. Yeah, thank you, Councillor Taylor. So, sorry, the movement second. So, happy with those items that have been asked to remove from the introduction check. Um, the new sewage treatment works like, I think, I was talking to the Aldean, 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 as council, if you don't mind, or I think you look at the look around. It's look, looks pretty impressive. I saw some photos yesterday. Wouldn't mind only all council. We look at I think everyone, if we can, if we can organise through the um, <coughs> manager of well, project program. Yeah, 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 we can organise that. Have a tour. That'd be great. So yeah, let's get that on the agenda. No, I agree with the entire council. It's good to see it. Halfway, well, two thirds of the way through um, construction, we'll know what we, you know, we'll be able to quickly have a look at it, and then when it's actually operational, have another look. Yeah, take that on board. We will organise that tour at some stage. Thank you. Anything further on the uh, the maths? Uh, sorry, on the um, outstanding reports um, checklist. Will we put that? The number of items to ask if everyone's happy with those, to you see uh, asterisks in the new book of that list? Then in case we put that all those in favour against carry. Moving <coughs> on to the um, item two of the general manager report, the committee and delegates meetings. There are an extensive number of those. So I'm happy to move those. Thank you, Councillor Irving. Second, Councillor Serby. Councillor Irving. I would just like to make a comment and join. It's actually really amazing to see the um, to have a list of all the people that general manager has been um, having discussions with. Um, yeah, and um, just for transparency's sake. And then also, um, the general manager and I um, will, we've just confirmed we'll probably uh, go on the 2nd of June um, next week to the Central Estorana Renewable Energy Zone Regional Reference Group meeting in Dubbo. Um, we're fortunate to be included in that um, by being members of the Green <laughs> Energy Related Council Association. So, yep, we're looking forward to that. Finding out more about renewable energy in the region. Thank you. Um, thank you. Um, any further comments, questions regarding the uh, 
Clearly, Jerry is made it. When was the Rose Committee, um, the local Rose meeting that you were going to? No, no, no. Council was just at the wrong date. 7th of June is another date. Yes, yeah, yeah, so that happened at the young. 7th of June. Council of Rose. Council of Rose. When was that Council of Rose? Local Rose. 7th of June. No, every other internal one. No, no, no. Um, you want your going to. Oh, 7th of June. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, sorry. Uh, can I also add, please, that there was a Castle Road Macquarie County Council meeting on the 26th of April. Uh, that was attended by myself. Can you just add that, please. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I just want to let everyone know I was unable to attend our last Mining and Energy Related Council Association meeting, but I will receive the minutes shortly and yeah, thank you. Any further on, <coughs> excuse me, the committee delegates meeting? I will make a comment, it's a fairly packed program in terms of uh, time commitment from everyone. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's becoming uh, yeah, quite demanding the time demands for, for council laws and staff. Anyone, any further comments, questions on the committee meetings, delegates, meetings proposed and have gone? Then the case will put back. All those in favour? Against carried. Could be on to item three of Report to the general manager, the uh, works progress reports. Someone happy to move those? Yeah, I'll move Information received and noted, Councillor Sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Someone second that? Councillor Winnerton. Councillor Sir. So in terms of uh, I mean, what numbers of the dollars spent, etc., just to go to the major finance administration. So that that is actually at what date? Eleventh of May. So, so and that is actually money spent. At, and does it include money allocated for uh, yeah, for specific projects, or are we just saying actual money spent invoices paid? Yes, it will include commitments if the commitment has been raised, as well. but um, if the commitment hasn't been raised, but it's <coughs> done, then it might be on there. Only if it's actually been a law that's been written out for the electricity. <coughs> Yeah, um, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, just like um, with our sporting facilities committee, um, we did request that each um, project under the sporting facilities had um, we, we coordinated it, and so that each project had a budget and a time frame. And I feel that it um, might be useful for councillors to also have a look at each project across the board. I think we're working on that. The general manager is um, so that we're more informed as to time frames and if the funding will receive will cover the actual cost of the project. Um, yeah. Yes. Um, I just feel that this is very, uh, very uh, bit of a summary rather than a detailed breakdown. But a detailed breakdown of um, the budgets and things would be um, handy if possible. Make sure we're on track with the expenditure. No, we, we certainly, certainly were looking towards that council early. The difficulty is with a couple of the projects, particularly the Carter Oval, for instance, and the Shadowgrass Race Course. They're like, you just put lumps up, and they haven't, uh, there was allocations to a certain extent, but they were a bit rubbery. And so, what we we're trying to work back to is just where exactly each project 
is, whereas in this new grant for Cherry Ground Race Course, it's very specific. That money is for that project. So that would be quite helpful. So I think the main finance administration and John Major are working to find out and put, really put some concrete numbers on where, where we are with the with particular sport facilities. Can we assume you too? Yeah, as well as well as us. yeah exactly. Yes. Where, where, where it is, where, where each project is. So let's understand. We've, we're making the point, John, and you're making the point, Council really, and so I think we've We'll get there, but it's not just as easy as it, it might have first seem to actually. Particularly those big five or six projects that are all running concurrently. Um, but importantly, budget and expenditure is checked by finance on every one of these reports. Thank you. Someone else had a comment question. Yes, I was just curious. Um, I was just under the impression that with the individual committee meetings that we have for the various areas that those reports were actually going to those meetings, probably in a bit more detail than what they come back here as a summary to. Am I off track? Uh, some are. Some are. There's lots of operational budgets information, uh, but, but not all, not all um, of, of project stuff yet. So that's all thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Just for an example, um, under the project, the <coughs> community sports facilities fund, change rooms and amenities block at Carter Oval. Initially I um, had I had was under the assumption that that was already budgeted for in the grant. Um, that we received initially, but obviously it hasn't been. And even though we had a design in place for change rooms at Carter Oval, obviously we had the design but not the funding. And so that's just an example of how we can maybe go ahead of ourselves and I think yes, the general managers on exactly what you're saying. I mean, I just know it because there are grant applications of that type of, for that part of the project continually going out because it has really needed a lot more money to do the whole plan. And it's one of the things you might have these nice glossy plans and we show everybody. And everyone thinks, oh, look at that lovely amenities things that they brought. We need to make sure people aren't knowing or assuming that they're getting done until until they're funded. Thank you. Can I just make a point, please, Mr. Mayor? If I was the general public and I was reading <coughs> some of these um, budgets and expenditure figures, it would look like there's a lot more money left than there clearly already is. I think that's part of the um, concern as well. But Showground Racecourse upgrade project, for example, 1.44 million uh, with 683 expended. Um, there's no real indication on there whether there's that money's spared or uh, it's other those internal sort of sub activities that come under budget or those, you know, so there's not, they look really good figures, but I'm always skeptical that there's invoices to come in, there's, uh, you know, it's, uh, there's expenses yet to be allocated to that, which would make that 683,000 figure very different. So I guess the point is, and, and um, Council Irving's made it as well, is that these are just a bunch of numbers here that don't really help us a lot. You know, We've seen already that some of the projects have, have, have had blowouts um, of up to you know quarter million dollars, and none of these figures have been reported in any of these, and it's not even discussed in here that there was any of that. So that's old mind a little bit more. Um, eventually, we'll that's that's where we're working for. We have to trust that in the background the projects are being run correctly, and the um, you know the budgets are uh, fine. But they're not, that, none of that's reflected here, really. Yeah. I think um, we should take some source in the fact that everything has to go through the finance administration. And that's where it, it really gets pulled up. Uh, and there is some degree of um, ticking off, saying, yes, this, this is where we are. But nonetheless, it's still a little bit nebulous in terms of trying to get those numbers. And that's why my question was, where, where, what, does, what do those numbers mean? Where are we actually up to? Are there, have been more severely raised, etc. So 
Um, yes, I think we can we can get a whole lot better with that. Just for I, I, I think that's a very fair and reasonable question that we we actually nail these things down and say this this is where we are today. But then these are the things that we've been committed to. And, uh, Certainly improving, but perhaps sometimes not the rate that we would like to see. Thank you. Anything further on the first project report regarding the infrastructure projects? Nothing further, we'll put that. All those in favour against carry. Item four the <coughs> And report to the general manager that to be determination of the new duration trial tribunal. Councillor Council Taylor is happy. Sorry, moving the recommendation. Seconded by Councillor Bruce. Councillor Taylor. Mr. Mayor, I uh, feel it. Speaking for myself, I, mean, I think the majority of councillors certainly don't get to council for money reasons. But I think we've got local government elections coming up soon, and I think. We sort of don't have a remuneration um, for the council that wants to go on there. We can't afford to so take a day off work. Um, we're missing out. So um, I think that's the reason for the recommendation. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Mr. Mayor, in the future, there'll be further reporting in relation to the change of legislation where um, superannuation. Uh, may or may not be paid, um, and there will be a council decision to, to determine whether um, the superannuation is going to be over and above the, the fee, the allowance, or contained within. And I think that's future reporting. Thank you. Councillor Tyler has made the recommendation, it's been seconded. Is there any further comments, questions regarding the determination by the government? Remuneration tribunal? Been nothing further, we'll put that. All those in favour? Against? Gary? Moving on to the final item of the. You've got a late item too, do you want to include that? We'll do five. Excuse me, that's it. Excuse me. The, um, the late item that came um, off the business paper regarding the use of wildfire planning and issue um, from land values at QC, so we have a funding program. That's the, the successful um, grant application that was uh, been processed and we've been advised of the, the number of very specific projects that that pertains to. So I'm happy to move. Uh, that we accept the uh, we accept the we accept the information received we received the note and this is that if I can give it a bit to see the council for the funding agreement. So I'm happy to move that. Yep, Councillor Irving, Councillor Councillor Irving. Um, I'm just pleased to actually have um, Councillor Irving have this information in front of me so that um, yeah, it's really informative just to have the deed included so that we can see exactly what and also quite specifically where the money is going. Um, it will be helpful down the track to, to look at um, a, a more detailed budget break, breakdown and um, action plan um, for each of, for this um, for these works. But yeah, just appreciate the information provided. Thank you. And the works are uh, obviously uh, much needed. It'd be great to get them done. I mean, this was part of the original proposal that asked for lots initially, cut back. Now we're getting back to it. These were the projects that we, we, we wanted to do. Originally, so it's good to see that it's actually coming through. It, it makes that whole precinct that much better again. So, um, yeah, we're really pleased to see this benchmarking and congratulations to the project manager and um, uh, project officer for getting their, their grant application up and through. And it's taken a while for it to come through, but it's, it's there. So, 
I'm very pleased about that. That's what it's like you said, hands on that. Like, this is the best thing about having these master plans that we, we started four years ago, four or five years ago, on these projects. And a lot of this stuff is just off the ship, camping ground, and we cut our own, we benefit from it, airports benefit from it. But you see, it's great to have those master plans, and these extra, these things that we put on those master plans are now coming to business nutrition. This is just another one. When all these applications went in initially, we didn't have our project managers, so we were relying on voluntary groups and whatever to to come up with figures. So now that we do that, the project management place has made a big difference to us. Thank you. Any further any further comments and questions regarding the um, ground lands, the show ground stimulus package? <laughs> Being nothing further pushbacks, all those in favour against carry. <coughs> Moving on to the report for the Division Manager of Finance Administration. First of those being the reconciliation certificates. Um, so I'm happy to, to move item one of the uh, Manager of Finance Administration report. Councillor Williamson, second Councillor Derrick, and Councillor Williamson. Um, just one for the finance. I know that bank account has paid for a lot of bills lately. Um, I know that the bank account has down a fraction, but I know we've got um, loan money to come back in, and also we've also paid for projects that we haven't been paid for yet. Just like to have some clarification from our manager finance, please. I think you've got it all in one, Councillor Um <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's still a trick of math. Obviously, we've spent some big money out there. We we normally had a, um, a balance in our sunset plan of about 2.5 million. It's actually got 262,000, so. That's just to show that um, we're still waiting on money from the restart, 50% 50, 50 of funding for that, and also the loan fund of two and a half mil, uh, which we've had to draw down. And then there's other areas like the airport, with our holy money, we're waiting on money for the airport, uh, for the works that we've done out there. Uh, we're not just spending on work on a little bit for, uh, for the council for um, Saturday's council session, uh, which I'll give you all a sheet for a breakdown of. Of what ranks, what areas, whether it's in roads, whether it's in bridges, whether it's in water funds, whether it's in sewer funds, it's outstanding compared to what we spent. Just to give you an idea of what sort of funds we should be looking at by the end of June, but by the end of June, we should be up, if we've got all of our money in, up around our 10, 11 million dollar mark. Out of rough here. Just I just had a real quick look while we were discussing. The 624 in road construction outstanding, 855 in bridge construction outstanding, 1.1 in the airport outstanding, 271 in air in water supply outstanding, and to the value with the grant and the loans that come at least three million dollars of the sewer. So now you're looking at $6 million worth of works that are funded and that the council has spent all of the money already. Thank you. In the reverse, we do have some the grants have been prepaid that we haven't spent the money so we should have to come up with that. So it's a bit killing and growing like the Murray-Darling Basin grant. We've received a lot of money that comes out of a lot of the work, so we're probably holding a million dollars worth of their money in our account. So it does go the other way on a couple of other I'll have to work those out. So I'll give you something for the uh, when you get the questions at the at the um, show on, on Saturday. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you, Councillor Williamson. Any and and, and fine administration for clarifying that. I think that's valuable information. Any further comments, questions on item one in the uh, report of the manager finance administration? They've been cash to put that. All those in favour against carry. Moving on to item two, statement of rates and annual charges. Someone having to move those. Councillor Serdy, second Councillor Gibbs, Councillor Serdy. Yeah, it's just good to see this. Look there, look at the headings. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, Councillor. Thank you. Thank you. Put that all those in favour <laughs> against Gary. Moving on to item three, this may be fine for administration. And specifically, his projects, works project projects report. Someone happy to move that? Councillor Serdi, 
Councillor Sandy? No, it's just good to see where that money for the other improvement stuff is all coming off. Um, I think it's pretty much all there, thank you. We have just a question. How, how are we progressing in terms of the finish finalising what we're going to do there and the finance construction that the interview type room for want of a better word and um me, carpeting etc etc how it was situated and how's our budget situated uh through you to mayor the the carpet tiles have, have been ordered and committed and waiting on them to be to arrive um i believe you know, the the builder has is looking and ordering the interview room conditioning and things. Uh, I'm not sure exactly where they're up to at the moment with that. All the painting obviously has been done inside the two areas. Um, still waiting on a quote for, for any, the extra covers and shelving that we're looking at, but um, I have put in a commitment for the relocation and establishment of the disabled as well as the relocation of the two room. I put some commitment in there at, at guesstimates. So we're going to be running pretty close to the wire. Yeah. But I've tried to get as much in there as I can think of at the moment. There is a, a big uh, commitment sitting in there that we're waiting on um, the bill to come in and depending on how that comes, which will take will come in favourably towards us from the, the windows and installation of the windows, they may free up a little bit of money there, but that, we've got one door to finish off in there uh, in the, the main office area between the, the old office and new, left, new office. We're still going to uh, put that door in there just for more security reasons. Yes. Um, so once that's in, we, we should have a better understanding where we are. <laughs> Thank you. Any further comments, questions regarding um, item three, the finance administration manager's report? That being the case, put that all out in favour against Harry. Item four, and then the finance administration report regarding the T-Corp one. Someone having to move the recommendation. Thank you, Councillor Sergey. Second, Councillor Taylor. Councillor Sergey. Yeah, we've had lots of discussion about this in previous meetings, and so it's nice to see the interest rate is 271. So hopefully, we can see this too. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor Sergey. 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 Thank you, Against Harry. Moving on to item five, <coughs> regarding the creating creation of an easement, um, the sewage treatment plant. So I'm happy to move the recommendation here. Councillor Williamson, Jeff, Councillor Derek, Councillor Williamson. Just moving the recommendation, not a good question. Is there anything else that they were waiting on to move the project? Any other easements or anything? We're all is this the last one we're going to go There's another one with, with um, people next door. Okay, that's really Okay, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, this is just an essential white book. Yeah. <laughs> essential <laughs> energy, yeah. Just to say that we can get the power into the power to the side, so that it just mm -hmm. makes sense. Makes good sense, but we just need to go through the process. Yes. So, we've all occurred. Anything further on the uh, <coughs> item five regarding the creation of easement to the sewage treatment plant? No further, we'll put that. All those in favour against Gary. Moving on to item six regarding the Colorado community shed, um, men's shed, um, and regarding a donation. Um, the annual rates and charges, so we have to move that. Councillor Sergey, Councillor Derek, Councillor Sergey. Yeah, we've done it in the past, but we definitely weigh in everything else, and it does just help them to take off all the bad media that we need, so we can just make sure we all keep the rest of everything. Anybody have a comment? No, I'm going to move it. No, I'll put it down to it. We're going to keep it up. Happy to move that recommendation. Yeah, Councillor Sergey is happy to move the recommendation. Yeah, look, I think it, the best part is it gives the possibility that these people can continue on okay. a kind of valuable community um, project. So, yeah, we're very involved. Thank you. Is there any further comments, questions regarding that donation, potential donation to the um, 
Let's get the right to name charges for the call on when you Then you can put that all as in favour against Gary. The duty of man defiance administration is, is um, generously reminded me to be in the agenda item. And, uh, and so we'll do that for his return at the end of my time. Find that final item um, in the manage by administration report there. Regarding the service New South Wales agreement extension for another another four months, someone happy to move that recommendation. Councillor Derrick, Councillor Bruce, Councillor Derrick. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I have to move the recommendation. It's fairly straightforward. Thank you. I think. Um, I think it's yes. Yeah, it's, it's very sympathetic. To it's not going to have a discussion. Councillor, you want me to keep moving, are you? Just loosening up. Okay, we can we can do another item, Councillor Taylor, if you if you're happy to remain standing given your your knee um, rehabilitation. Okay. No, you stand. That's one's rose. Good one. Good one. Stay on your feet. We haven't we haven't put item seven for yet. We put that all those in favour against Carrie. We will remain standing. Yeah. Can I just make a note? It's 20 to 10. <laughs> 20 uh, no, no, we, we'll sneak there at five minutes to 10. Yeah. You've already got that fast, then. And that's, oh, that, well, that adds okay. council strategy to our um, kitchen in, in, in standards with um, Healthy Town challenge that we've um, heard and we're, we're, our awareness of being a healthy town. <laughs> Moving on to the reports of the Division Manager of Engineering Services, first of those being the Works Progress Report. Um, <coughs> excuse me. In relation to roads, the recommendation is that the information be received in notes. Someone happy to move that recommendation? Councillor Brewer, Councillor Certainty, Councillor Brewer. Uh, it's moving recommendation, thank you, and making a comment that uh, the old Warren Road extension is just a fantastic piece of road. It's very good. I wish it went further, but <laughs> well, it's just improved that road and no doubt the lives of the people on that road. Considerably, it's, it's really good. We did, through you, Mr. Yeah. Mayor, we did make applications, the allocation of funds, uh, but we were unfortunate and uh, didn't receive anything this year. But, uh, they gave us one Elder Gerard. Uh, and on, on that Elder Road, I just think, uh, are you in um, conversation with Narromine Council about the joining up of that piece of road there. Uh, it'd be really nice if they could be persuaded to seal their part of that road. Uh, it would just certainly, and you know, we've just fall into a bit of money on roads. Mr. Mayor, I'm just pleasant Mr. Mayor, I will be writing them a letter, but I think it's a little bit obnoxious to say we've finished ours when you can start yours. <laughs> we're, we're going to finish ours or yes. come plan. We're, we're program of state council of program to include it and that's a part of the debate that's going to come up in the next couple of meetings. Uh, we've definitely got money for one more segment and then we've got another one and a half segments after that so we'll just see if we can find some money and perhaps finish it uh, within, within the next 12 months. Thank you. Any questions? Can I just on the... ask one question? Yes. The classifiers, are they actually working? Because is everybody doing it? the classifier report? Yeah, some people do 100 mile an hour. But if they're able to do it, don't they? Should no. Be the state 25 department. years ago, we used to have a bit of a joke about mm. some of the big trucks doing 155 kilometres an hour. Yeah, yeah they work. Sometimes. Yeah, and they are true, yeah. correct. Yeah. But yeah. I'm just worried when you look at every one of those reports. Have excess fees on them. I think it's a reflection of the quality of the work that the engineering <laughs> do so to enable people to travel at those fees. <laughs> Don't want the highway patrolman to see the, um, some of the results. Maybe that should be one of the things to bring we up. We have recorded people coming over the levee bank down here from the Corinda Road doing in excess of 160 kilometres an hour. Mm. That's dangerous. Mm. Yeah, that was before we put the change the concept of the intersection. Mm -hmm. We hope it's slowed them down, but let's wait and see. Uh, there's also on the finances, if, if you need a greater breakdown 
I can issue greater breakdown of the, such as some of the projects that are there, uh, such as the Never Tide Bay, and it's quite a comprehensive breakdown of the cost of the Yeah, it'd be nice. Um, Councillor Brew, just, just to, you were talking about, the, about what we're resheating on the old Warren Road, or the. the, the, uh, the or both. The, 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 the seal part is sensational. It goes almost all the way to Ina Wiener. But then there's, a, there's an awful spot in the middle there where water lays. It's a real sort of swampy area. Um, and that's not. We haven't quite got to there, but the um, the resheeting of the gravel roads is fantastic as well. Like it's really good. And when, if you get out to Elm Jarrah Road, um, the unsealed section on there is diabolical at the moment. Um, ours is as bad as um, as narrow mines. And there's a pretty awful patch outside of Raby as well. Just like, and it's got you've got rough road signs there, but that's a pretty ordinary piece of road as well. That's that, that one. No, I think the three of those have been noted, but we just need to just want to just say they're still not up to the standard. Oh, and I think where we, where we do upgrade roads, the, the, the standard is incredible. It's very good. My question would be is that it's a, on the traffic counters that Councillor Sergi was alluding to, can we, in the old printed um, business papers that we did have some time ago, they were actually very, very clear about where those road counts were. These, these, it's really hard to, in my view, see exactly, exactly, exactly where they are. So I think that's something we could improve if possible. It's just a mere just a contradiction to that. I mean, if you go to item number one, the one at the traffic counter of Never Never it's 250 metres from the railway line south of Never I mean, you can't be much more precise. Yeah, you know, yeah. some in the, in the town centre of Warren here, they're really, I think you need to really understand exactly where they are. Like, this, this one here, the industrial access road. Yeah, that's yeah, pretty much showing that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 We, we used to have maps that were really uh, detailed. Yeah. yeah, so if we can expand those out, you can see exactly exactly where they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. that would really good. Yeah. The other one I think we would be worthwhile is some analysis of, um, say, the, the Collai Trangy Road, um, what that's a regional road. The traffic counts on that compared to, say, the Nevertire Bogan Road. Um, so, which is a local road. So, we've got some. We, we as councillors can understand what the what the, the differential is when we're getting a lot of traffic that's on a on a local road that perhaps should be classified as a regional road. Yeah. Okay. Some sort of, some sort of analysis in one of the one road. Got enough information. One of the comparisons with some areas to come. The, let's call it the inland flat route, which comes from Tottenham up through. You've got the um, Tottenham Road down the bottom. You've then got Never Tire um, and then, then you've got the highway. Then we've got the industrial access around it that way. That's where we're trying to collect enough figures to make comparisons so that we can justify the argument to have that, those local roads reclassified as regional roads. And that's part of the discussions we'll have with. Wendy March, who's chairman of the, the committee, got to sit on the seventh of the seventh of the next month. I think look, that's that's a big that, having those in there is a significant improvement. I think that's that's good. Gus, yeah. uh, through Mr. Mayor, could I suggest that you maybe take some photos of the beautiful new road you put out on our road back to what's still there and just show them. The poor condition of what we're still going out there. Yeah, I think we, we really good to do. With some of the submissions we've made with the grants, we did include that for those type of comparisons just to show between uh, the old ones and the new ones. Mm -hmm. right. now, at the stage, we took the photograph of the lines where the line markings were on them, but the comparisons were there. Yeah. And, we, and we I take commend on the great that. work you've been doing on those roads too. Be great. Anything further on? <laughs> Excuse me. Um, 
the most report regarding roads to the Prison Nature Engineering Services. That being the case, we put that. All those in favour? Against? Carry. Councillor Pat, are you happy? Oh, yes. Yes. To be <laughs> here, please. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> Moving on to item uh, two of the Division of Engineering Services report there regarding town services and the progress being made there. Someone had to move that recommendation. Thank you, Councillor Williamson. Second, Councillor Higgins. Councillor Williamson. Oh, look, this is a, I'm thrilling to see this report in the detail it's going. It gives us the information, also gives the community the information that they help. what our town does. There's a lot of work that's done out there, but I think people forget about it, so I think it's really good information. Thank you. Thank you. Any, any further comments or questions? What we have to say that <coughs> after our uh, senior managers meeting yesterday afternoon, we went out to Joe Ground Race Course. Um, it does look really tidy in preparation for the show to, uh, Saturday. So, um, yeah, <coughs> pass on to your staff that it really does look, look pretty, pretty good. So I'm really pleased with it. At the standard, it actually is really, really gratifying. That's brilliant. Uh, just on the show, there will be access from the old Warren Road end to the show, the will. Because that looks fantastic as well out there. The, uh, that old camping area and either side of the driveway in looked absolutely brilliant. It's the best it's looked in years. And they're talking to the people that are setting up out there, the side showers. Right? They're all pleased and the electricity should find everything. Very happy. Yeah, it should be too. That's fantastic. Well, that whole precinct is, is just unbelievable. It's quite a massive. It will become better and better. Any further on the works project report regarding town services? Councillor Irvin. Thank you, Mr Mayor. Um, just also um, thank town services manager. Obviously, um, the workload has increased significantly for parks and gardens with the extra projects we have in place. So, yeah, I just want to thank them. And the town services manager. Yeah. For their hard work. Yep. Yeah. So, any, any further comments, questions regarding the <coughs> excuse me, works progress reports for the town services? Being nothing further, we'll put that all those in favour against carry. Moving on to item three. On the Jewish Main Vendor Research Report, being the um, works progress report regarding the fleet and the workshop. Someone happy to move that? Just make sure you are the oldest thing I'm going to get a member in a second. Councillor Serdavi and Councillor Higgins. Sorry, you said an oldest. We might be just going to hold the head seconds. Councillor Serdavi, you can see the questions. No, I was just going to say it's, it reminds me of the old days of Google, you know, you could have begged for this information. So, yes, it was good in the old days when we got it. It's good to see it coming back in again. Thank you. Thank you. I'm happy to look for it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you. Mr. Mayor, I'll just make a comment. With the workings that are listed here, at the moment, I have one workshop coordinator and one apprentice. That's it. I think they do a remarkable job in the workshop coordinator. I try and throw a fair bit of workload on to the help me as well, such as specifications and tendering the call for the new acquisition of equipment. So it's got a fair workload on, uh, and they're doing a pretty good job uh, keeping up the plan as it is. We do have advertisements out for mechanics, as you'll notice, um, but it's not being well responded to at this point in time. I think I think Councillor Williamson knows the problem as far as uh, workshop staff and that are required. There's something that are out of the
Thank you. Councillor Sergey, thank you. Any further comments, questions regarding item three? Report. Just one question, please, Mr. Mayor, to the Manager of Engineering Services regarding um, plants and plant committee meetings. Just looking at the amount of maintenance that's, that's going into those graders, some of those older ones, plant 22, plant 25 in particular, we probably need to start really preparing those machines, or at least, at least one, and I know they're in the schedule, um, we, we probably need to start looking at those things. Through you, Mr. Mayor, the, the, uh, the specifications prepared for one, for the placement of one, it's prepared to go to Tenderlink. Uh, it'll be up to three hundred thousand dollars for the purchase of the new one, uh, but it's sitting on the. It'll, it'll be out on the, in the paper within the next few days, and probably in the middle of next week. Um, and with that, is in one of the, uh, the, the truck and trailer yeah. You know, and I know a seven and a half thousand hour service. That's kind of that's hitting the trigger where we, you know, we need to move it on. We certainly don't want to get it to ten, but. That's a discussion for another time, though. But um, let's let's uh, nail down a plant committee meeting, and you know, with a couple of those big ticket items on the agenda, to discuss that. Yeah. Yeah. With, with the graders, I like twelve <coughs> year, per year, eight years replacement, which is about nine thousand six hundred hours. We should. Call. Yeah, which is about you know, with the drought in the middle of that, we're on target there. To we're going to have to do something. Yes, a couple of years. Thank you, thank you. Any further comments, questions regarding the complete <coughs> workshop progress report? The nothing further to put that. All those in favour, against, carried. I'm mindful of the time. And are we, what are we thinking? One more, one more, two more. They shouldn't take long. Two more. Let's 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 complete the um, reports of the Division Manager of Engineering Services. Then we'll go to the biggest point to Moving on then to item four of the Division Manager of Engineering Services report regarding construction of the transfer station at the UMR Waste Depot. Is someone happy to <laughs> read the recommendation? Which doesn't take a whole lot of thinking about, perhaps. Thank you, Councillor Serdy. Thank you, Councillor Bruce. Councillor Serdy. Happy to move the recommendation. I'm um, just surprised as to what they felt were going to be doing here. They have over two and a half million dollars in the world. Maybe it's a bit behind the Taj Mahal or something coming here that we didn't know about. But yeah, and it would be really good if it could come to the big council and stuff and contact us again, do what we can with people in the budget. Could them move to? Yes. Um, it's way out of four bucks. Just ridiculous. Just, sorry, just ridiculous. Yeah, I just would say, okay, just a comment. Yeah, I just would say, just a comment really. On, to pair back, obviously the, the, the real number is somewhere well above 54,000. Um, we've done some of the earthworks ourselves in there to prepare, I guess, and to lessen the earthworks costs and things like that. But obviously we're not near enough to that to get to what a transfer station is and some of that's got to do with the geography being very flat so you've either got to build something up to drop material into or drain really well something it's it's a i think it's a big a bigger project than we give it um you know you're going to be better. the design uh with the use of the dam that's existing uh, and the drainage from the pit uh, does does it's the proposal as an underground from in the Drop off pit because the truck, the truck goes in. There's a stormwater pit there that does drain to the dam, and then the truck will make sure the dam working it out, but not imposing upon the, the treatment plant. Um, is, is up a little bit, but the drop off from the um, it's at one. It's 2.4 meters from the dumping point into the truck, so it is quite a high little, little ridge, um, and I, I feel more confident. If we can use the local contractors and do that work and do a large percentage of the work ourselves, particularly the earthworks with the loaders and trucks, that we will be in a better position to come within within reason close proximity to the, to the money that's available. And what the pressure is there for us? It will be more than 203, and that's part of the project team to see whether exactly um, a scale back. Uh, project will cost and 
and where we can find the money. And whether it still looks like a transfer station when you pair it right back. Yeah. Well, at some point it's no longer a transfer station, it's something else. And, and I guess we, we, we've sort of shown our hand to the EPA on our intentions to sort this problem out. And certainly backing up to a pit and those sorts of things is not appropriate, but so we've got to find a solution somewhere. I don't think we can escape this cost. Um, we just have to rethink a little bit how we do it. Okay. If, we, if we can, sorry, you go. I think if we can shorten the, the wall, and that's about 40 metres, and then we'll bring it back 10 metres back to 30 metres, we'll bring out plenty of dumping room up the top and the truck in the bottom, we reduce a large percentage of the, the, the cost of it, uh, just by uh, reducing that to minor length, a quarter of the length. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Look, I guess I can agree with you. Yes. Send it, but on the same vein, let's let's go. We 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 obtained that an outrageous tender. Let's go back to our our guys internally and with the Division of Engineering Services heating that up. Let's get some proposals that go to the UMR Waste Depot. <coughs> the economic sense to achieve the outcome we want, and let's and let's see where we can we can go from there. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Mayor, thank you. Um, so I'm assuming that our action plan includes a budget breakdown so that we know how much the project will cost if we go um, this direction. Um, yeah. Yes, Mr. Yes, yeah. Mayor. Yeah, because um, yeah, I can just see potentially blowing out can, um, going on the, the difficulties that um, we could face with the geography. Of the area, um, Mr. Mayor, that is a concern. This is the reason why it wasn't rushed. Yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, yeah. things that. Very much appreciated. <laughs> Thank you. Any further comments regarding the uh, construction of the um, or the non-construction? Sorry, yeah. just no. Yeah. I just um, wanted to comment that I did learn about the engineer manager. We can only do what we can for that amount of money too. So, yeah. Shouldn't be well now. Thank you. Yes, Councillor, is there anything further before you? Excuse me, item four. Again, Councillor, put that all those in favour against carried. And the final, final item of the Commission of Engineering Services report regarding the um, preferred status um, for um, recent small vehicles. Um, I will note that Councillor Williamson has declared an interest in this matter and has um, left the meeting room. <coughs> Councillor Williamson having left, I'd like someone to move someone to move that. Councillor Brewer, seconding Councillor Brewer, Councillor Brewer. Um, this is simply an extension of the existing agreement. <coughs> we, um, went to great pains to get right and amend it and, and went back and forth a few times. So I think we we don't need to reinvent the wheel here. We understand there's only one dealer in the town, um, but it makes perfect sense to offer that to any dealer that would be here and that um, local purchases make a whole lot more sense than buying something from elsewhere. Thank you, Councillor. Okay, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Just <coughs> like to um, concur with Councillor Brewer. I think supporting our local businesses helps our local economy, obviously, um, supporting local employment and yeah, local turnover and money. Yeah, I think it's a, it's a very good thing. Councillor Bruce. Can I just make a comment too? I think we're going to highlight that this is in accordance with the approved government. Um, discount as well, so that there's no um, any of the issues with what what. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know if there's any negative comment. I think it just runs very smoothly as it is at the moment because Toyota is a and, and cars are generally are hard to get at the moment from wherever you go, and I think we just. Let the uh, owner know what's coming up in the next 12 months and they're in queue. Thank you. Any further comments, questions regarding item 5, the Commission of Engineering Services Report regarding the recruitment of white vehicles? Any further? 
And the Council put that all those in favour. Against, carried. Mm -hmm. Council admitted to back into the meeting just for, for the um, for the reports. And it was appropriate that we can adjourn the meeting and make our way to Mrs. Pundit's Gusty, Fire Street, for the biggest point there. Just best point is good. Yeah, that's the best point. Council, we just resume the uh, our May monthly meeting. Um, moving on to the three reports. Next uh, group of reports is moved through the reports of the Management Health and Development. The first of those is to do with the development application that was received. So we have a recommendation, Councillor Bruce. Second, Councillor Taylor. Councillor Bruce. Yes, I'll just move the recommendation. Thank you. Thank you. Any discussion, questions before we move ahead? That. Now, we'll put that all those in favour against carried. Moving on, item two of the Manager of Health and Developments Report, <coughs> being the Works Progress Report. I'm happy to move that the information be received and noted. Thank you, Councillor Irving. Second, Councillor Sergi. Councillor Irving. I'm happy to move the recommendation. <coughs> Looks like there's a lot of amazing. Um, projects um, for community um, well-being, I think, or has happened, which is great. Yeah. Thank you. Anything further on the works project report to manage your health and development? Nothing further, we'll put that all those in favour against <coughs> Gary. We'll get on to item <coughs> three. <coughs> Engaging the New South Wales planning portal and grant assistance to help with, people with uh, implementation of that um, planning portal. Someone who is moved with recommendation to Councillor Serby. Second, Councillor Higgins. Councillor Serby. Yeah, it's good to see this one actually came up at our library zone, even I think I mentioned last month, where um, some libraries are getting. Asked for the job of trying to do it, but it's a specialised job that needs to be done that people know what they're talking about. So, really good to see that we're all happy. Thank you. Happy to give a recommendation. I think the, the nice part is down, down the bottom of the board, I think, I remember reading that yeah, Council will be able to help people facilitate their way through this board, or it mightn't be. It's the sort of thing you might only do once or twice in your in your life, and then might just take a little bit of navigator. So thanks for making that note at the bottom there. Very good. We don't want to make it harder for people. We make it easier for people. Thank you. Anything further on item three? Let's put that all those in favour against Carrie. Moving on to item seven, there are notice, no notice of motion. We have no item 8, no notice of urgency. And we do move on to item 9, which is the confidential matter. And we just need to follow through the procedure for implementing that. <coughs> First, when I need a motion, the council proceed into the committee of the whole, closed council, to consider a matter in accordance with section A2, D.1. So, I'm not happy to move that. Councillor Taylor, Councillor Drews, we put that, all those in favour, against. Carry. Second, we need a mover and one for even goals the same people to move the second one for <coughs> excuse, excuse me, excuse me, the progressive public student and keep the whole um, close council in accordance with the same um, local government act paragraphs. Thank you, Councillor Carla and Councillor Bruce. Good <coughs> that. All those in favour? Against. <coughs> Thank you. 
two regions like that we probably get um, back in again. Yes. Yeah. So in case <laughs> the title of the rest of the was just to be moved again to um, reinstate people who will be joining the meeting. Yep. Yes. Any further discussions before we move back? All those in favour? Carried. As per what was on the map. Yeah. And that is what they're moving is the actual recommendation. Certainly. Okay, then I'm asking for councillors, Taylor, are you happy to move the recommendation that can take the clear hole? Yes. Yes. So there's the, the motion as moved by Councillor Taylor and second by Councillor Bruce. Is there any further discussion on that before we put that motion? Nothing further. Next the we we'll put that motion. All those in favour? Against? Carried. Presentations. Just a reminder that next month we've got a presentation from the um, Principal Central School, is that correct? Next month, correct? Yep. There being no further business on our agenda, I declare the meeting closed.